everyone. Today I am decluttering and organizing my mom's kitchen cabinet and drawer. This is her glassware and silver cupboard and then with her snack drawer and some linens drawer down below. The lighting is a little poor right now because I didn't have my lights with me at my mom's house, but it does change because the sun shines a little brighter, but it is blizzarding outside as you can see the wind blowing in the giant snow pile through the French doors there. But anyways, what I always do when I declutter and clean is take everything out shelf by shelf, wipe it down and then put it back. It just was easier that way. And also then I could ask my mom what she wanted to keep, what she wanted to get rid of. And that just made it so much easier. There were only a few things in the glass crystal cupboard that I got rid of, but you'll see later on um, how I organized the drawers. So anyways, I am gonna let you watch and listen to some music and I hope you can find something to organize and declutter today. Cabinets are always a great place because there's always things tucked away in the back that you forgot you had that you no longer use and could donate and get rid of. But here it is, more finished and complete, all straight and tidy and organized, wiped out, and I just think it looks nice. I always have enjoyed looking and opening this cupboard of my mom's there. So here's her candy drawer. I'm gonna see if I can't organize that, put those in little containers so that people can actually see what's in here. Yes, she has a lovely candy drawer, but with grandkids, that's kind of fun to have. Oh, there's like some napkins under there. It's kind of disorganized. Then here, there's some linens, some like bread baskets, some placemats, tablecloths. Oh, extra set of silverware. We could put that in her silverware drawer. And then on the bottom, I guess some more tablecloths. Oh, some decor, a candle, an empty <laughs> Christmas container, just a roaster and a CD player. So it's always good to ask what other people want and where they want to put things. But I think she'd be okay with some rearranging. So I'm going to do that. The top was pretty easy to reorganize. There wasn't a whole lot to get rid of, just a lot of her crystal and glassware and stuff, and that was already pretty organized. So I think it looks good. I just took everything out, wiped the shelves down, and put most of the stuff back in. Got rid of a few vases and one Christmas bowl that she no longer wanted.
So here's the drawers, quite a bit better. I left a lot of them in the original containers, just used some old um, plastic containers she had left and still had this just to corral some of it. <laughs> and then the next one, we got rid of a few towels, a few other things, just mainly cleaned it out, decluttered a few items, just stacked it more tidy than getting rid of anything. <laughs> And the bottom one didn't have a whole lot in it, so we kind of just left it how it is and made it convenient for her to find the decor that she uses up on the um, counter there. So that is what it looks like. Just more cleaned out than anything. One more thing to do is to wipe the fronts of them to finish it off. Freshly white. It's so dirty. Just to wipe it clean, get all the germs out. There we go. The top will part. Good to go.